One News. Welcome back, 844 on your Wednesday morning. You know, there are all kinds of ways to cook or bake your favorite pasta, from lasagna to linguine. But have you ever heard of cheese wheel pasta? Kirk, we're kicking it up a notch. We are? Oh, yeah. So it's. <laughs> I think that's trademarked. By I was going to say, Is I think it? we can get you in can't, trouble can't, for that one, yeah. <laughs> really? Okay, well, no, just we'll pretend just, I didn't I'm say kidding. that. <laughs> Just don't do any bamming. It sounds, it, it, basically this cooking is exactly what it sounds like, cheese wheel pasta. Yeah, and you're, so. You brought in this giant cheese wheel. Well, this is Jason and Justin from the uh, Little Noodle Pasta Company. You guys have a location here in Denver. You got a location in Philly. And this is a thing right now? Yeah, the pasta cheese wheel thing is kind of a fun novelty. Cheese pasta, they go hand in hand very, very well, obviously. Yeah. And it's kind of fun where you take hot pasta and toss it in the the giant bowl of cheese and coat it up as it's cooking. Where did this start? Do you know? No idea. No idea. <laughs> We've seen the Instagram videos, yeah. though. Yeah, we, we it's did It's a big it. thing on Instagram right now. Yeah, and we did it, and people it really took off, and we've had some parties where we've done it. It's good for weddings. It's good for... Big events. I mean, if you want to do this at your own home, yeah. we won't judge you. But you gotta find a cheese <laughs> but we're wheel. totally judging you. <laughs> we're totally judging you. <laughs> so pretty much in here, we have uh, these are actually French onion soup noodles. Because oh, cool. we figured instead of going with the traditional, just like a plain pasta, a little bit of black pepper, which is really delicious, we do something a little bit different. So you put the hot pasta so straight put out the of the water. Pasta in there. Oh. So these noodles themselves are flavored with. Uh, roasted onion and actually beef stock. So it tastes like French onion so soup. So it tastes like French nice. onion soup. Nice. And then beyond that, we take a little bit of actual French onion soup. There you go. And Justin's going to kind of show you how. So the cheese wheel serves as the plate here, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. This is the like, weirdest thing in the world. You kind of scrape up a little bit <laughs> of the so cheese fascinated. from the bottom. Do you like this? And it gets all ooey gooey. Do, do I like it? Do you like this? Do you eat this? I eat the pasta. Yeah. I don't necessarily. Sometimes I eat my cereal out of cheese wheels in the morning. <laughs> um, fruity pebbles, not that's quite as good news, as French Jason, onion pasta. That's fake news right there. Oh, my goodness. Right, you're going to have to do something. And so it, okay, it sure. kind of collects Add the cheese, chives, right? Like absolutely. So the cheese kind of scrapes off the bottom, and you can see it kind of just gets melty and tossed in there. Yeah. And then typically you put it into another plate or something for someone to eat, but we're just going to go nuts. And Is there an arch to this? Do you need to like flick it like this? Yeah, you got to kind of, you know the salt the bay thing? Bam! You do it like Bam. this. There. <laughs> then you have breadcrumbs and stuff in your shirt for the rest of the day. <laughs> and then, of course, you have to top the cheese with a little bit more, more cheese. cheese? Yeah, yeah, because it's... Cheese on top of cheese? Yeah. You're, yeah, has anyone ever said, oh my God, you put too much cheese nope, on never. that? never. Never happened. Yeah, that, that's, that's not a real happened. thing. <laughs> so... So people come into your restaurant and order this? Yeah, so the way we do Little Noodle is we do fresh pastas by the pound, and we do pasta bowls that are made and ready to eat. Cool. Uh, in the, right now we're in the Stanley Marketplace at Mondo Market mm -hmm. in Denver. We're currently looking for some standalone locations in Philly, but we're doing it out of my restaurant, uh, Ella. How much does this thing weigh? Look at this giant. A lot. Pasta. She doesn't care about the pasta. Yeah, All the she cheese cares about the cheese We wanted to make it a cheese, a cheese hat, and it just didn't work out that way. <laughs> you know, Is this edible? Can I eat it? It's one, yeah, it's actually, it's not just like TV fancy edible. It's like really, it I'm should good. taste good. You guys know Hopefully. a thing or two about noodles. That's pretty good. Mm. I've been cooking for a while, and the pasta thing is just, mm. we met working in a fine dining restaurant, and we kind of wanted to do something a little more casual, fun, approachable. Yeah. But we kind of take that so you approach to the test. way we cook. Yeah. yeah, and you can come into Mondo Market and buy pasta by the pound. That's how you, you sell it buy, like that? Yeah, and these are for you guys, actually. Awesome. So cool. Thank you. But there's Fresh under pasta. one condition. You have to make the pasta. <laughs> you have to <laughs> post a picture of it oh my God. and hashtag live nudes. <laughs> <laughs> and... Please spell I it actually the right way. I hashtag all program. my Instagram posts with that, by the way. Yeah. So spell it N O O D S. Like yeah. for us. <laughs> That's kind of our thing. We're well, it's gonna take live noodles all chat. the time. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> Stanley Marketplace. <laughs> Greg's on the phone. I just want. So, so I am like everybody at home. How He's many times? Pasta. How many times have you had like someone that you really need, like cable or in this case tow truck, call you and they're like, "Can I place you on a brief hold?" And here I am sitting for five minutes because I don't have a car. So yeah, my parking brake.